Here we're being asked to write an equation for a line that's either parallel or perpendicular to some given line and that also goes through a specific point. So we start with a line and a point. In this case the point is 4, 5 and the line is this, y equals negative 7 fourths x plus 5. And we have to find a line that goes through that point and is perpendicular and then a line that's parallel. To do this we need to keep in mind a couple of facts. First of all, parallel lines all have the same slope. So if two lines are parallel to each other, the slope is going to be the same. And lucky for us, we have the slope right here. This line they've given us is in that y equals mx plus b form. If it was in some other form, I might have to solve for y first so I could see what number is multiplied by the x here. But in this case, I don't. This is our slope, negative 7 fourths. And um, we also need to know that perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So you flip the, the sign and you flip the fraction. And then there are a couple ways to um, come up with the equation of the line. I'm going to plug it into this point slope form. When you have a point and a slope, it's a handy uh, form to use. So I'll show you how this works too in case you haven't seen it before. Let's start with the first one. A says find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through the point 4, 5. What we need to know for the point slope form is m, that's our slope, and we need to know our x and y coordinates of a point the line passes through, and that's our x1 and y1. Our slope for the perpendicular is going to be the negative reciprocal of negative 7 fourths. So a negative of negative is a positive, so this is a positive, and then I flip the fraction, so I get 4 sevenths. So that's m. And now we can just plug these numbers in, because this is x1 and this is y1. And then we'll just solve the equation for, we get for y, and, and we'll have our equation. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. I've got y minus y1, and y1 is 5, equals our slope m, that's 4 sevenths, times x minus x1, and x1 is 4. All right, so let's see what we need to do here. Um, I'm going to multiply through uh, the 4 sevenths. So I, I'm going to have y minus 5 then equals 4 sevenths x minus 16 sevenths. A little annoying that we have to deal with the fractions here, but that's all right. We can do it. Um, and then we've got to get rid of this negative 5, so I'm going to add 5, but since my number over here is in sevenths. I'm going to convert this to sevenths. So 5 times 7 is 35. So a negative 5 is the same as a, a negative 35 sevenths. So I'm going to add 35 sevenths here. And of course, I'll add it to the other side as well. So here, a negative 5 and a positive 35 sevenths is the same. It uh, adds up to 0. Uh, and here, negative 16, 35, I think that's a positive 19. Yeah. So we get y equals 4 sevenths x plus 19 sevenths. All right, so that's our perpendicular that passes through 4 or 5. Let's try the parallel. I think the parallel is even easier because the, the slope is just the same. So our slope in this case is just seven four, a negative 7 fourths. And let's see, I'll do it over here. When we plug these uh, numbers in, we get y minus 5 equals negative 7 fourths times x minus 4. And this time, multiplying through that um, number here is a little bit easier. So you have y minus 5 and a negative 7 fourths x. And negative 7 fourths times a negative 4, the 4s will cancel, and we just get a positive 7. And then all we have to do is add 5 to both sides. And we get y equals a negative 7 fourths x plus 12. So that is how to find an equation of a line that's parallel or perpendicular to another line and goes through a specific point.